MC. Starring Jim Neighbors as Gomer Pyle. Also starring Frank Sutton as Sergeant Carter. Comer, no bumps. <laughs> Sir, but I was the while one you are a pea brain knucklehead. On top of that, you're a late pea brain knucklehead. <laughs> just gonna say, don't I... talk. I just say, don't I... talk. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> See, it was my belt, it got caught on to. <laughs> <Boom>. <laughs> Don't move that mouth. I want no moving of that mouth. No sound coming from within it or without and or no combination of same. Or I will have you doing push-ups into the middle of next week. Is that clear? Yes, sir. That's very clear. That's as clear as anything. Cut! Cut! cut. <laughs> Inspection! Ha! I just love this part. <laughs> This piece is filthy, you hear me, boy? Filthy, dirty, 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 dirty! Yes, sir! There is no place in the Marines for dirty people. You hear me? There is no place in the Marines for dirty people with dirty rifles. You are dirty people, and I don't like you. You hear me? Yes, yes sir! Do you like me? Yes, yes sir! Well, I don't like you! <laughs> Dirty, 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 another dirty person. <laughs> you have a dirty rifle, dirty person, you know that? But, sir, I... Get it clean. Yes, sir. Knock off that smile. Tighten up that face. I want to see them lips white. I want to see them tight. Get a mean look on your face, boy. Mean, mean. <laughs> I don't like you, boy. You hear me? I don't like you. Do you like me? Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> and, sir? I ain't just saying that, neither. I really do. <laughs> huh? I really, truly like you. You do not. You do not like me. Let you and me have a mutual admiration society. I don't like you, you don't like me. Sir? Knock it off! Now, you people, listen up. You are one week away from graduation. In one week, you are supposed to become basic Marines. And I am here to tell you that I do not think you are ready. And why? Because you are slow and you are dirty. Dirty and slow. Well, we have one week to fix all that. Every day, between now and graduation, I'm going to stay on you people until you are squared away. Is that clear? Yes, yes sir. sir! And why? Because you are... Dirty, sir! Dirty, dirty, dirty! Dirty, 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 dirty sir! Remember that! <laughs> Especially you! Yes, sir. Sir? And I like you, I really do. <laughs> you people were supposed to know your general orders your first week in boot camp. Well, now it's ten weeks later. And let's just see. Slater, what's your six general order? Sir, my six general order is to receive, obey, and pass on to the center who believes me. All orders and commanding officer, field officer of the day, officer of the day, and officers, non-commissioned officers of the guard only. Lucky guess. <laughs> Peters, number eight. Sir, my eighth general order is to give the alarm in case of fire disorder. Mm. <laughs> Pile number 11. Sir, my 11th general order is 
to be especially watchful at night and during the hours for challenging to challenge all persons on or near my post and to let nobody pass without proper authority. Wrong, 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 all wrong. Not nobody, you said nobody. It's no one, no one. And to allow no one to pass. You got that pile? To allow no one to pass. And you call yourself ready for graduation. Pile. I don't like people who don't know their general orders. You hear? Yes, sir. And I don't blame you, sir. But I like you. <laughs> he means it. He likes me. I still can't believe he really likes you. He likes me. Yes, that's too bad, Vince. Are you sure? I'm sure. I'm sure. I rip him apart and he comes up smiling. The knucklehead likes me. A boot should hate his D.I., isn't that right? He should despise him, isn't that right? Oh, yeah, hate and despise, hate and despise. <laughs> I'll never forget my D.I., Iron Face Torkin. He was the meanest human being that ever lived. I hated him so much, I used to lie awake nights dreaming up ways to get even. I was gonna find a dishonored surgeon. You know, some doctor that had been disbarred for drinking? We had chloroform iron face, and the doctor would sew up his mouth. <laughs> iron face talking. He was mean and rotten and cruel, nothing but a dictator and a beast. He was the greatest DI that ever lived. <laughs> if you're not on this boot enough, Carter, I'll lean on him every chance I get. Yeah, but you gotta pound on him 24 hours a day if you can. No let up. You know, I had a boot started out like that once. His father was a minister and he picked me to love. Well, I made him my house mouse. Made him keep my quarters spotless. Kept him under my heel every minute. I taught him. I cured him, but good. When he graduated, he was the perfect Marine. Hated my guts. <laughs> Here's an idea. Why don't I make Pyle my house mouse? Sure. I'll make Pyle hate me if it's the last thing I do. I'll teach that boot to fool around with tradition. Boy, wait till that poor boot finds out he's gonna be my house mouse. Your house mouse? <laughs> Gosh, sir, what a wonderful honor. I sure do appreciate it, sir. It ain't an honor, you hear me? Well, it may not be to you, but it is to me. It ain't every day a feller gets to help out another feller for which the first feller has so much admiration. Well, maybe you won't like it so much when I tell you what you gotta do. Oh, I'm sure I will, sir. First, the deck. First, the deck. Never mind repeating. Never mind repeating. <laughs> no repeating, right, sir. I want this deck scrubbed, bleached, and waxed. Done and done, sir. But I mean clean. If there's one spot, you're gonna have to do it all over again. You hear that? One spot, and you do it all over. That's as it should be, sir. Perfect is as perfect does. One spot, and do it all over again. I said no repeating. <laughs> now my bunk. My bunk is to be changed. The blankets aired and the linens replaced. And if there is one wrinkle in one blanket or sheet, you're gonna have to do it all over again. Oh, my, do you hate that, too? I just can't stand the wrinkle in my sheet. It's a throwback is what it is. When I was a boy, I had these sheets made out of flour sacks sewed together, and them seam ridges nearly drove me berserk, so I know what you mean. Who told you you could gab on and on? I wasn't repeating, sir. It was all new stuff. I'll say it again. One wrinkle, and you do the whole bunk over. Now my shoes, cleaned and polished. With the respect due a fine piece of leather, aye, aye, sir. And the windows. I want them to glisten. So as you can see from the outside in, the inside out, right. Again, if there's one speck, one tiny little speck, you're gonna have to do it all over again. All over, you hear? I hear. And the ledges and the shelves. I want them dusted. And when I say dusted, I don't mean just run over quickly. I mean dusted. You know what's gonna happen if I find one speck of dust? I'm gonna have to do it all over again. All over. <laughs> you aren't fooling me with that stupid act you're putting on. What I'm doing to you burns you up, doesn't it? No, it don't, sir. 
Oh, come on, pile. Admit it. You don't like me. You think it's rotten of me to give you all this extra work. No, I don't, sir. I like you. I like you very much. You say you do, but you really don't, do you? You couldn't like me after all I'm doing to you. You're wrong, sir. I do like you. Why? It's easy. Look at you. You're paying more attention to me than you are to anybody. <laughs> oh, I like you, sir, honest. <laughs> Get to work. <laughs> Ready for inspection? Your house is all mouse, sir. Uh huh. Let's see. Uh huh. <laughs> it's filthy. Huh? Look at that, you dirty person. I don't hardly see a thing. Phil, what's the matter with you, pilot? Are you blind? You got poor eyesight? Oh, no. As a matter of fact, the doctor that examined me said I had the sharpest pair of eyes he'd seen. <laughs> I want you to get that scrub brush and get busy. I once hit a chicken hawk with a rocket 20 yards. Pile. Nobody ever heard of it, though, because there weren't no witnesses. Pile. Except in the hawk. And he was so stunned, he didn't remember nothing. Knock it off! <laughs> you know something, Pile? Sir? You're not only dirty, you are filthy. Thank you, sir. <laughs> what are you thanking me for? Well, it ain't every day you get a straightforward, honest opinion. Seems like every time I turn around, I'm thanking you for improving my lot. <laughs> Sir, you're a friend to have for sure. I get started right away and do it all over again. I'm losing it, Whip. You know that? Come on. That's true. I can't do anything wrong. He likes me. He likes me. Well, now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did you try humiliating Pal in front of his peers? His peers? The other guys. Their peers? <laughs> yeah, it means, uh, uh, the other fellows in the platoon. I never heard him call peers. <laughs> it's, uh, a uh, uh, fellas equals. Like, uh, like I'm your peer. Hey, that's great. <laughs> Believe me, Vince. Humiliate him in front of his own platoon. Especially if he doesn't deserve it. His peers. Right. And he'll come around. He'll hate your guts. One thing these boots can't stand is injustice. I'm desperate. I'll try anything. I can't graduate a boot who likes me. And he likes me. The dirty peer. Hey, your stuff looks great, kid. Beautiful. Fine. Man, you sure can shine stuff. You really got the magic touch. That's very good. Very good. Uh-huh. You call yourself ready for graduation? You call yourself a basic Marine? Ten weeks ago, you came to me a lump, a plain nothing lump. I worked with you. I gave you special attention. And you know something? You're still a lump. This inspection is a disgrace. I ain't learned you a thing. You ain't fit to be in the same platoon with these other peers. You other peers, listen to this. This person is not fit to graduate. He is a sloppy peer. Do it right. Pick him up and do it right. You hate me for doing that, don't you? You just hate me? Tell the truth. Oh, no, sir. It was nice of you to point out my failings to me. Only a friend would do that. Thank you, sir. 
I like you for that. In all my years of being a psychiatrist, I never heard anything like this. Now, uh, let me get this straight, Sergeant. You're upset because a boot likes you? That's right, sir. Well, this is something new. Most people have problems because they aren't loved. Sir, if a D.I. ain't hated, he ain't a D.I. That's what's got me so worried. This recruit likes me. Tell me something about yourself, Sergeant. Sir? Well, I mean, uh, what was your life like before you became a Marine? When you were a youngster, a little fellow? Sir, I don't know what you... Uh, I mean, what, what kind of an atmosphere was there? Well, there was a lot of hollering. Hollering? I used to holler at my sister a lot. And my father used to holler at me for hollering at my sister. You might say I was brought up on hollering. Well, what about your mother? She'd holler at my father. <laughs> well, uh, how was she with you? Was she nice? Well, yeah, I guess. Was she affectionate? Well, sure. Did she have any pet names for you? Well, Sergeant. Does she have a nickname for you? Well, did she? Sir, I don't see what this has got to do with... Sergeant, did your mother have a nickname for you? Yes, sir. Well, what was it? What was the name your mother used for you? Num num. <laughs> It was a word I used for candy and gum. She used to call me that. Num num. Your father, too? <laughs> well, then, uh, in spite of the hollering around the house, there was a more or less friendly atmosphere. I guess. Of course, this is um, just an off-the-cuff diagnosis. Uh, after all, you're not under treatment. I don't know you too well, but uh, would you like to know what I think, just generally speaking? Yes, sir. Carter, underneath all that bluster, there is still the nice, friendly boy from a more or less nice, friendly atmosphere, and Gomer Pyle has gotten through. He has reached Num Num. <laughs> you see, what you have in this um, the Gomer Pyle is a childlike individual who can see through anger and ranting and raving. He will not be shaken by your attacks because he knows that underneath it all, there is Num Num. <laughs> That's terrible. Why? Well, if he can do it, another recruit can do it, and I'm washed up as a D.I. I can yell at him all day long, and behind my back they'll say, there goes Num Num. Boy, would I like him. Hello, Num Num, sir. <laughs> I'll tell you what I would suggest. I'd put in for a transfer if I were you, Sergeant. Yes, sir. Give up uh, drill instructing for a while. Go to another camp, just be a regular sergeant. Then, when you feel that your confidence has been restored, you can always come back to being a D.I. You see, your facade of meanness has been penetrated, so to speak. What's a facade? <laughs> well, that's, um... Anything like a peer? Oh, no, no. Uh, facade is uh, just a disguise. As you, you put in for that transfer, I'll endorse it, and uh, you should have no trouble. Yes, sir. It's a terrible thing to be loved. <laughs> Still, Gomer. Graduation. Shazam. There you go. Boy, it sure happened fast, didn't it, fellers? Yeah, it only seemed like a century. Hey, I got a great idea, fellers. Let's make a pact right now that we meet right here at this camp ten years from today and have a reunion with a cake and everything. How about that? Yeah, that sounds good. good. Where will we meet? Hey, what about the cigar store across the main gate? Hey, that's a great idea, but what time? How about uh, ten years from this Friday, eight o'clock? Then it's a day. Boy, this is gonna be nice so we won't lose touch with one another. I'll get my hat and go tell Sergeant Carter. Whoa, back up, buddy. Who needs him? You mean you don't want Sergeant Carter there? The man that practically raised us all together? You don't want to see him again? Oh, we don't mind seeing him again, Gomer. It's just that 10 years is a little soon. <laughs> now, 30 or 40 years, okay. <laughs>
2017, Christmas. So long. I'm gonna miss you almost as much as I'm gonna miss Gomer Pyle. Well, it won't be the same without you around here, Vince. It's gonna be nice and quiet. Uh, take it easy, kid. Be good, boy. Hey, Sergeant Carter, sir. Huh? I looked for you right after graduation. Where'd you disappear to? Well, I got a lot of packing to do. Sir, we won't be seeing each other anymore after today. And I was just wondering when and where we could get together again. Well, that's hard to say. You see, Pyle, I put in for a transfer. You did? Yeah, so uh, I can't tell you when or where we could get together again. Shoot, just tell me where you're going to be, and I'll look for you. Uh, no, Pyle, you don't understand. You're going to Paris Island for your infantry training. That's in South Carolina. And I'm going to Camp Henderson. That's in California. <laughs> we'll be thousands of miles apart. Hey, yeah, it's a shame we both can't go to the same camp. Yeah. It, it's a real shame. That's a long time. Hey, Sergeant. Let's write to each other here. Yeah. Yeah. We'll write. Goodbye. Hey, I did want to tell you about the reunion our platoon's gonna have ten years from now. Oh, yeah? Good, good. Well, goodbye, pal. It won't be a reunion if you ain't there. So remember, it's ten years from this Friday in the cigar store opposite the main gate. The cigar store. I'll remember. Goodbye, pal. Sir, sir, it's 10 years from this Friday at 8 o'clock. Oh. <laughs> Sergeant, your men have just arrived. Yeah? What do they look like? Yeah. Well, they can't be any worse than the bunch of meatheads I had in boot camp. One in particular. Come on, let's take a look. Fall in! All right. You men are no longer boots. You are now basic Marines. You will now begin your advanced infantry training. I will be your troop leader. My name is Sergeant Carter. Now the foot. Hey, Sergeant, sir. Surprise. Kyle, what are you? What are all of these men doing? Surprise, surprise, surprise. What? Well, here's what happened. You know, you said that they was going to send us all to Paris Island. Well, they didn't do no such thing. At the last minute, they changed their minds, and they sent us here to Camp Henderson, where you said you was going to be sent. I didn't want to tell you on account I didn't want to spoil the surprise. And I sure am glad I didn't, because it is a surprise, ain't it, Sergeant? You sure look surprised. All right, you men. You were sent here, and I was sent here. OK. I'm going to work you and work you. You think it's going to be easy just because you're out of boot camp? Well, it ain't. And, Pyle, I don't know what you think you see when you look real close, but I will tell you, I am still a sergeant, hard and tough. It ain't just a, a facade. It ain't a facade. You think it's a facade? No, it's me, through and through. Is that clear? Is that very clear? Yes, sir. Mm. Sir? Huh? Are you going to ask me what you always did at boot camp? What? You know. But do I like you? Because the answer is yes. I really do. 